I really do hate days like today because I let the anxiety take over. I let the, the mental illness take over. And when I went to go walk into the door at work, I, I turned around and I couldn't face anybody today. Uh, even yesterday, I went yesterday to go grocery shopping. I couldn't, I couldn't face anybody. I, I, couldn't, I couldn't look them in the eye. I couldn't make on, eye contact with them. Uh, I, I guess I let the me mental illness take over sometimes and it, and it just it overwhelms me so today is one of those days it's a missed opportunity day it's one of those days where I'm just gonna go and be by myself and not be around anybody and that's what it does to you that's what schizophrenia will do to you and it just shuts you down it even shows up in my my dreams at night so I slept a lot last night and I'm still exhausted because I was wrestling with that all night, wrestling with my dreams. I woke up so many times and, and I, I slept for like 12 hours. I went to bed right away when I got home from work. So it wasn't like I didn't get to sleep. So I don't, I don't, I don't understand. Depression is a real thing. And it's a real fucked up thing too. And I, I hate the shit. I wish I could be a regular person, but I can't, you know, that's why I play games. That's why I, I, I try to do the live stream thing because it's me in front of a camera, even though it's people watching, you know, I'm not, I'm not look. you're not looking at me, you're like, uh, you're not looking at my, my whole, you're not looking at me physically, you're, you're, you're there looking at me through a camera, through the lens of a camera, so even right now, I'm just talking to a camera, you know, even though this is going to be posted, put it out into the ether, maybe it might help somebody, maybe it might help somebody that feels the same way, so I might look into the mirror and feel so disgusting, and sometimes I can't even look in the mirror. How bad is that? How much of a pussy thing is that, you know, for a grown man to, to feel that way, like to, to let his anxiety take over? Depression is a horrible thing. It's a very real thing. Imagine being uh, sitting there and, and having uh, your whole body feel like it's being electrocuted the whole time and your arm goes numb and your chest hurts and you start to sweat and you just feel like this disgusting, horrible being that shouldn't even be seen. You know, you see a you see like a, a beautiful woman, say you might see a beautiful woman that you like, and you don't even want to look at her in the eye because you don't even, you don't even uh, feel like you deserve to look in her direction. That's how disgusting you feel at the time. Sometimes it makes you feel like you want to die. Like you just don't even want to bother like uh, being inconvenienced to people by even, be, by, by even existing. How the fuck? And it just shuts you down. And I, you know, I have a history of mental illness, and I used to uh, put that out there as rage. You know, whoever was around, they would see my rage. And if you know me, you've seen that, uh, especially growing up, uh, probably about, you know, in my teenage years to my mid-20s. That's how I dealt with things, with rage. Complete, just utter, utter just being an asshole. And that, that's the only way I knew how to, how to act. And I would judge, and I would, I would, you know, I would, I would push people away on purpose, which I still do. I still push people away, people that uh, could potentially help me. I have the greatest family in the world. I have some of the greatest friends ever, but I still push. I, I just push people away, and I don't want them to be a part of this. I don't, I don't want them to feel that pain, and I don't want to complain to them about it either. So I try to keep that locked away, and then it just eats at me, eats at me. And then I, I wake up in the morning sometimes and I just feel like, I feel like just not even existing anymore. And I don't know if you've ever felt like that, but it is not fun. It's not fun in the least. So, and you, you might say, hey, just go get some help. I've tried that before. I've went, I've went to therapy and I've, I've done the medications. Medication... Uh, that they put out there is um, usually <laughs> will make you want to kill yourself even more. It makes you feel numb. It makes you feel like not even like your brain doesn't function properly. That shuts down certain parts of your brain, which I'm sure that it's supposed to do. But that right there will just make everything worse. And I've talked to multiple people that have the same uh, problems, family members that have the same problem. As far as depression goes, as far as uh, you know, schizophrenia goes, and they didn't have a great experience with it either. So it seems like there's no way 
there's no way up. There's only way ways down, and and I hate feeling like that. And I hope my children never feel that. I hope it. I hope it ends here with me. I hope this is the last of it. You know, it, it the last drops of it that were existing in the gene pool were just taken out and just cleaned out with me. And I hope it dies with me. And they never have to feel that because it's a horrible, disgusting thing to feel. That's why I try to keep them up. I try to make, you know, make everything positive and, you know, make everything, uh, you know, just love. Just spread the love and give them love and just make them see nothing but love. And if I see an inkling of that, then I get really worried and I get really scared because I don't want them to feel that shit. And I still think it's sad for a grown man to feel this way. And I wish, I wish that wasn't a thing, but it's like the chemical makeup in my brain is all just in disarray it's all it's all messed up and there's some kind of imbalance there and I wish I could and I've treated it in some ways there's there was a study actually that you can take vitamin C and that will build up your uh, you know if you have social anxiety disorder or any kind of mental illness then that will build you up uh, I guess you know making the immune system stronger will make you know those connections stronger in your brain or something like that but that's going into the science of it. Uh, when it comes down to it, it just mentally, it, it makes you shut down and it's crippling. It's physically crippling. And it makes me sometimes not even want to go out into the world. I just want to stay in the house and never leave the house again. So, and I laugh at it, but it's really not funny. And anybody who's suffering from it will tell you. It's, it's not, it, it just, it's a horrible thing. And I wish it would stop. I really do wish it would stop.